Hello, welcome back. Um, so, uh, for today's video, I would like to teach you on how to make or how to write a simple sentence, right? So, how to make a sentence, I will teach you how to do it in this video, okay? So, uh, let's go. All right, let's remember back what we have learned in our last lesson, last class. Um, I teach you about the personal pronouns he, she, he, they, were, and also the name. Right, so that I already teach you, and after that, I taught you, okay, about the verb to be. He is, she is, he's, she's, they are, we are, it is. That also we have done. So for today's lesson, we're going to use that, and then we make a sentence, okay. All right, let's continue. Okay, now to write a simple sentence, we can use this formula, a very easy formula to write a sentence. Now, what you need to do, a subject, okay, a subject, verb, and also object. I will tell you what does this mean. So, what does what does this mean? Subject, what it means, uh, what it means for verb, what it means for object. Okay. Now subject, okay, subject, okay, in the, in the last lesson, I already taught you about the personal pronouns. So subject is who are we talking, who are we talking about, okay? So usually we will put the personal pronoun, usually, but that's not the case. But for this one, we will put the personal pronoun that we already learned last time okay what are the personal pronouns he she they we it and also the name okay mr ikwan uh the cat uh, i mean um name or any anything like okay uh Ruichi, Yishen, so that is the name okay, we put in the subject or personal pronoun we put in the subject okay next one the verb what is the verb verb usually we put verb to be okay i already teach you the verb to be plus action so in this uh, lesson we're not going to put the action so we're going to put the verb to be Okay, we're going to use the verb to be put inside the verb. Okay, what are the verbs to be? What are the verbs to be? Okay, is, are for present tense. Present tense means it happened now. Chinsai, now. So we have to use the present tense. Is, are. And for past tense, we use was and were, okay? Past tense means finish already, okay? For example, yesterday. So past tense, finish already. We have to use was or we have to use were, okay? Now, for is and was, it's for singular, ego, one, okay? For example, me, I am one people, one person, so I will use singular. Okay, for one person, singular. One people, one thing, use singular. One. Okay, you, you remember one? Singular. Now, for plural, many, hen many, you use are or were. Okay, uh, plural means many, you use are. Or were. 
so let's remind back in the previous lesson if she one she is he is all right or in past tense we can use she was he was okay one people now for plural many they are we are they were uh, if you use were means finish already okay finish okay they were we were okay for plural all right next one object okay usually in object we will put what when where who all right who are the people that we want to put usually we put in the object okay but don't worry for this one okay what when where we're not going to use that for this lesson okay all right now for example look at the picture look at the picture okay uh can you tell me what who is this who is this uh last time we already learned about this one who is this person yes it's, it's a soldier right it's a soldier so we write he is a soldier he is a soldier now look at the word he h e he okay he usually we use for a boy or a girl he yes we use for boy man nansen okay so this he is the subject okay all right next one is i uh, remember because it's one person and then it's a past tense so we use is okay is so what is this is? It's a verb. Okay, it's a verb. Alright. And the last one, a soldier. A soldier is the ob object. Okay, so this is already one sentence. Okay, you have a subject, a verb, and also object. Okay. And then I put the word a uh, here. A. A. Uh. Why? Because it's one. Okay, one soldier. So I will put he is a soldier. If many, I cannot put a. Uh. Alright, I cannot put a. Uh. Alright, let's continue. Next example. Alright, who is this? Yes. She is a dentist. Okay. So she is a subject. She is an okay. subject. Is again a verb. And a dentist is the object. So you have subject, verb, and also object. Very easy. You've got these three things. You can make one sentence. Right? Now, next one. Okay, we've got two persons here. Two people. Right? They are architects. They are architects. So, what is they here? It's a subject. Are, again, a verb. And also, architects. It's object. Now, uh, look at the, the, the S here at the back. I didn't put a here, but I put s at the back means architects, many architects. So we have to put s at the back, architects. Okay. So they are architects. Three subject, verb, and also object. Very easy. Okay, for the last one, we also can put the name. For example, Sam. Sam is the name for this boy. So I write here, I write here, Sam is a firefighter. So again, Sam 
is the subject is verb a firefighter is the object okay all right now very simple subject verb and also object okay all right so let's try make these sentences based on the picture okay i want to teach you how you can do in your exercise book so for this one i want you open your exercise writing book exercise writing book okay we're going to write uh, number one first picture number one okay picture number one all right okay give me right let's say this is the example of your exercise writing book okay for the first one i want you write your the day then writing also the date and you can put 22020 back here okay because i don't have space here so i didn't write it and after that what i want you to do skip one line gong e ha Okay, skip one line here skip one line Kong Ihan. and then after that I want you make a table okay sorry okay, you make a table All right then you write like this and also you write like this and here you write subject Okay, use ruler, uh, use ruler, and then column number two, verb. Okay, make it nicely. This I because I do this one in computer, so it's not very nice. Okay, here is object. Okay, sorry. Okay. After that, what I want you to do is, right, look at the first picture. So this is the singer, and he is a boy. So I write number one, okay, subject he, because a boy, okay, nonsense, he, and then the verb he that singer is one so i use is i s is okay he is what a singer so i write a s i n g e r okay he is a singer, then put a full stop. After you finish the first sentence, alright, take a ruler, uh, do like this. Then number two, number three, until number five. Okay, until number five. So I want you to do this one. This sentences. Picture number one, already done for you. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. I will put this picture inside the Google Classroom so you can see it. Okay, you can see it. After you finish watching this video, you can open this one. And after that, okay, you make the exercise in your exercise writing book. After you finish, okay, if you know or you can ask your father or your mother, Take the picture and then send it to me in the Google Classroom. Okay. Alright, you can send the picture there. If you don't know how to do it, it's okay. Okay, don't worry. Alright, I will check when we come back to school. Okay, bye-bye.